time you know <laughs> things aren't always perfect but uh we fight them with prayer keep them down amen you know, that old sinful nature thank god we can walk in the spirit not in the flesh there's a song uh kind of like jamaican in style that's right you like money man yeah man me wait me wait for me beef parties man Oh, you must be from Jamaica, too. <laughs> I've been over there many times. The food is good. You should try the jerk chicken. Well, yeah, what we need is say, yeah, Julie, what happened to my Jamaican wig? <laughs> no. Well, I was supposed to have a wig, but uh, I don't know, Julie lost it. <laughs> she, <laughs> she probably burnt it. <laughs> You know, I can't see anybody, but that's good. There's nobody out there. Is there? <laughs> oh, you out there? Okay. Yeah, well, let us know you're out there now. And get some amens. It's, it's not out of place, man. Have a good time and enjoy the Lord tonight. Right. This is what it's all about, uh -huh. right? You sure? Is, right. is that the reason we're here? Why are we here? We don't want to make you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this song's called Water in the Boat. Water in the Boat song.
what's the matter with this generation? Are we caught in the middle and there's nothing we can say? song there. Whoa, you know what's coming? No, we got any smokers in here? Do we do? I can't see any hands. Oh, there's a smoker back here. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about caffeine drinkers? I don't see Bill. Like, where's Bill at? He's, he's doing his sound. He's, eh? he's hiding. Well, that guy drinks so much coffee. I mean, he, he, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you. And, and, and you know, caffeine, nicotine—that's a drug, right? Yeah, here we go. From the honky tonk, you took me from the bars, you slowed me down completely in my fancy racing cars. You know you took away my blues and my downers and my booze, but you know, Lord, I still suffer from this caffeine and nicotine blues. Well, you even saved my family.
just a little sling, you know, another giant followed him. We just got together, me and Barry here. We've known each other for a long time, but we've, uh, what has been 20, 30 years, I don't know, I hate to even mention the years, but. Uh, well, it's, it, since we played together, we played together for many years, going further back than that, but we, the last time we played was we had, uh, doing the coffee houses is, uh, with the band, we had uh, a straight street. And so that's the last time, that's been at least 25 years or uh -huh. a little plus. So. But it's pretty cool, cool getting together, and we don't even, Mark over there, I don't even, just met Mark tonight, he just joined up with us tonight, hadn't even played with us, so give Mark a nice hand. Yeah, Mark as you would, from Hampstead, <laughs> Maryland. Uh, but anyway, I'd not seen Barry in quite a while, and I turned Facebook on, and uh, I wasn't able to put, I wanted to pit, put a picture up here on the screen, but I happened to be looking on Facebook, and I saw Barry. A picture of him laying in a hospital. This guy right here, wires all hooked all up to him, and it looked horrible. It looked terrible. And I, I looked and I said, "Is that Barry?" And then, and then I read the post and everything about where he had had uh, been in the hospital for like a a dual liver and a kidney transplant. Right. I'll let him tell you about it. Yeah, I, I still look bad, right, don't I? <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you what, God is good. Back in, uh, I think it was um, March of 2017, I, uh, my daughter had to rush me to the hospital in Carroll County. And what happened was an infection got into my bloodstream, so there was sepsis. It shut down my immune system, killed both of my kidneys, and shut down my liver. So you can live with the kidneys by being on dialysis, and I did for quite a while. Then I got onto the transplant list, and, it, and God intervened there because it, it only took three months for me to get uh, a kidney and a liver. See, the liver is the only organ in your body that will regenerate itself. You can A donor can just... Uh, donate one lobe and it'll grow back and then the one the, the recipient that will grow but uh, God had it prearranged he had somebody they've got both organs from the same person so I got a full liver well, when they took the liver out they took the gallbladder out too I said okay thank you that way I don't have any problems from there but <laughs> but you know God is good because see what was happening was on uh, if you remember back uh, I think it was March when we had that big blizzard and shut down the whole co east coast and the airports were shut down i was getting ready to fly out on on that tuesday to uh, uh to go fly over to frankfurt germany and then on to um nigeria lagos nigeria for for a big crusade and things were starting to look up back in december 
I was uh, uh, inducted into the Maryland Hall of Fame as well as uh, uh, Brother Frank here, he's in there. And then I was also inducted twice into the Blues Hall of Fame. You know, because sometimes we go through life and we don't get recognition, but God has a way of giving you that recognition. Yeah, but see, things were getting ready to happen overseas because I've been traveling around the world so many times, you know, and the enemy tried to just shut me down. They left me for dead, Frank. Left me for dead at the hospital. They called in my family from all over. Now you didn't look too good in that bed, that's for sure. I still don't look too good, but... <laughs> Uh, but we're all precious in Jesus' sight. But I will tell you this. I went through so much. You felt like you, you, you've, you've been set on fire, that, that, like, like the, that you had to travel into hell, and, and, and you know the enemy's trying to destroy you. But see, when the enemy throws darts at you, and he, he tries to, to make things bad, and tries to prevent you from doing God's work, Jesus will turn that thing around and make it all for good. And he did that for me. And I, uh, so for the past three years, I'm two years out from post-surgery. But see, God knew. I shared with Frank, I said, God gives us gifts. And he never takes them away. He gave us gifts to use them. And I'm so thankful that I've been able to minister around the world and preach and uh, the gospel people get saved healed and delivered i could tell you if we had the time i could tell you about so many miracles that god's done a little baby his heart he, he was getting ready to die took him anointed him held him to my bosom then i i, I rebuked the enemy bind the enemy so you can't go into a house until you bind the enemy first and then you cast him out and i asked god to create a new heart in this young child I gave him back to his mother and put her hand on his chest because his hand, the chest, the heart was just like this. It was moving your hands. He was just waiting to die. God healed him that very night in Pakistan. I have video back there uh, of some of that. I don't know if the baby is on there, but uh, I have video from Pakistan when we had the meetings there. Multitudes, thousands, hundreds of thousands were healed and saved and delivered. When I told them about stuff that had happened to me, I've died four times. And back in 17, they gave me up to die again. But I was literally straight flat lined. But see, I'm still here today. And I thank God for that. Because what the enemy tries to do to you, he tries to make things so hard that you get depressed, that you want to give up. Yeah, hey, so I'm a preacher. I'm human. Yeah, I'm going to give up sometimes several times a day. But I knew that God said, Lord, I'm with you always. He said, and he also told us in his word, he said, I would rather that, that, you, that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So think about that. When I found out, my friend that handles our ministry in Nigeria called me. He says, I'm receiving phone calls from all over Africa. He says, I, I don't even know these people, but they know you. See, we don't realize what kind of an impact that we do when we obey God and we be that vessel that he works. There were over alone, just in Africa, over two million people praying for me as I laid in my hospital bed. See, now that's God. See, we, we always say God is good. You know, all the time, all the time, you know, so forth. But I just tell people, says, just God is. Because that's the, just the synopsis of the whole thing. God is. Because without, see, God is, and because he is, we are. If he wasn't, then we ain't. You see, we're nothing without Jesus. So can you imagine, I wrote in one of my books, years ago about the sons of God I said can you imagine here's here's Jehovah sitting in heaven just sitting there in his domain and he looks down at this earth and he says man that is such a mess down there and he ponders and I said that can you imagine him looking down and he says I think I'm gonna create me a hunk of flesh crawl into it and take care of business praise God so we never know what our purpose in life is but when God gives you a gift every one of you have gifts use what God gave you 
Even if it's, even if it's just cleaning the church, uh, picking up paper if you see it that somebody dropped, or, or, or whatever it is, you know, because you're doing it unto God. To God be the glory for great things he has done. That's right. When you told me when he gives you a gift, he doesn't take it back. No, he doesn't. And sometimes we get complacent. And a lot of people in the pews, in the seats, they get complacent because they don't have um, um, that dedication. And they're not really consecrated to, to the work that the Lord has for them. So we just need to get up off our duff sometime and just get about, be busy about God's work. And I, I said in, while I was in, in the hospital and then I got out, my daughter stayed with me for about six months and then she moved back into Baltimore. And I was asking the Lord, I says, why me? How much longer do I have to endure this? He says, I'm with you. I got your back. Don't worry about it. I said, Lord, that's pretty hard to do. This old flesh is telling me, hey, you know, without that liver, so you can live with the kitty, but without that liver, you only have, every day you wake up is, a, is an extra day that God has given you. But you cannot live without a liver. I went through what they call paracentesis. What that is, is see, when your liver is not producing a protein called albumin, then what albumin does is keep the, the fluids within your blood vessels. Without albumin, fluid leaks out, and they had to take fluid out from around my stomach. What do you think about that? They took out almost 13 liters of fluid. Now, mind you, it's two pounds per liter. So that was like, I was a big man. That, that was the weight, 28 pounds, okay? That's four babies. Yeah, I looked like I was pregnant. <laughs> well, that would have been history, wouldn't it? <laughs> but you know... Even through all of that that I've been through, I said, how much longer, Lord? How long? He says, don't worry about it. I got you covered. And some of the songs I want to do tonight are from two personal friends of mine. Bill Gaither, done a lot of work many years. Uh, worked out of Nashville. Um, just been with all, all the great musicians. And also uh, Andre Crouch. Because we were together back in the 70s, and may he rest in peace now. His son took over his church. And so I, I want to do some of the songs. And then also, this song I want to sing now is called How Long. This was my answer to what, because I've sang this song many times. But it just hit me all of a sudden, not long ago. This song is written by Terry May Allman. And I'm so glad that it was written because this was me. This was me. We go through so much in life and we just don't realize because look, we're so worried about us. When you have adversity in your life, do this. Pray for somebody else. Pray for somebody that has a need. There's always somebody that's worse off than we are. There's people, I'm, I'm a Vietnam veteran, and I, I've, I've seen my, my, my friends look at them one day, turn my head, look, turn right, and look right back, their head's gone. Try putting up with tragedy like that. But there's always somebody worse off than you are. Yeah, we have migraines, we have headaches, we have this, we have that. We could complain. But why complain? Let's dwell on the positive of what God has done and what he can do, and especially in our lives. Thank you. God bless you.
I'm out here, I couldn't even lift anything, hardly. Here I'm carrying equipment in, 
I was just um, up in Uppercombe. Uh, got hired because I'm a professional session musician and got hired to, to be up there and uh, we did some shows that had um, uh, um, Mo Pitney was in and, and his, his brother and his sister and his wife and their, their band and, and a, lot, a, lot of fr a lot of friends from Nashville and we had a great time there and I'm carrying equipment in and out I'm helping everybody else bring equipment up to the stage we had 15 minutes to set up, to get a sound check, and to play for 90 minutes. You see, God, God, God can give you strength when you don't have any. Frank, when you're on a job doing whatever you're doing, and we get weak, God miraculously gives us strength. you got to give me the strength. Well, you're, you're just so young. <laughs> I'm telling you. But this, uh, this is a song that my buddy wrote, Andre Crouch. Now, yeah, this one's from Andre Crouch. Because I always ask, it, 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 when he wrote this song, he wrote, yeah, I really feel that he wrote it for me. But so did everybody else that listens to it. You know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a cool song. Soon and very soon. Oh, yeah. We're going to see the king. All we have to do is be faithful. All we have to do is obey God. But soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah. There'll be no more crying, no more dying, no more uh, going through pain. God no. alleviates that. He, he gives us a new body. No more IRS. Woo, praise God. <laughs> Don't have to work. Don't have to worry about a paycheck. No more roaches. <laughs> no more condescending people. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, it's something about heaven. When I, one of the time, I died four times. I was in North, North Arundel. And I died on the table in the, in the ER. This was something that hadn't happened to me before. But I went to heaven. I saw God and he looked at me and says, what you doing here? I said, I don't know, tell me. And he, he said, I want you to go back. He says, you're going to be a Holy Ghost steamroller. Get out there and preach to the people. Tell them I'm taking no prisoners. Either, either get with the program or get out of the way or you're going to get run over. And that's basically what's, what's happening today. Look at the world. Look at what's happening. America's getting away from God. People are being put in places of, of, of leadership that, that, are from, uh, that want to see America destroyed. Destro totally destroyed. But soon and very soon... He, God is going to come. He's going to split that eastern sky. Praise God. He's going to come down on the mount. Praise God. He's going to set his kingdom up. Well, nothing nobody can do about it. Soon and very soon. One, two, three, four. It's sort of like uh, Andrew Crouch, the way he does it. Uh, Soon and very soon, oh, yeah. we are going to see the king. Yes, we are. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king.
to see the king. Our Pastor Paul, is, is he here? <laughs> is he going to sing a song? Oh, there he is. He coming up? <laughs> Eight forty-five. We're right on time. We're even giving you an extra minute. Right. And it is dark. And, and so we have to um, 
every day, daily, we have to receive a uh, fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. We Amen. have to choose either walking in the flesh or walking in the Spirit. Amen. We have, and we just got to fill the Spirit with God's Word, prayer, and just uh, come together and fellowship together like we're doing tonight. And thank you all for what you're doing tonight. Amen. Bless you. And I want to just uh, pray right now. Amen. Amen. So let's, uh, let's go to the Lord. This is the, this is the closest you'll ever get to Jesus when we go to the front of grace. Amen. Because he is entering into heaven. I don't think that, that just bothers my mind is the throne of grace is where Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding on you and on in my behalf. Yes. That is awesome. And we get to go there right now. Hallelujah. He said where two or three are gathered in my mm-hmm. name, there I am in the midst. And he's here with us. And he's ready to hear us. And I don't know about you, but I, I believe strongly in the power of prayer because yes. sometimes God does what does he do? He does exceedingly abundantly Abundant. more than we can ask or think, does he not? When we go Amen. to him, he may not answer our prayers the way we ask, but he does it in a way that it glorifies him. Because that's what it's all about, what we're trying to work all right. with. Him. Hallelujah. So let's go to the Lord in prayer and let's enter into that awesome throne of grace. Thank Father God, we thank you and praise thank you, Lord. Dear Jesus, for yes, the we do. to come speak to you. Yes. Lord, we humbly come before you, Lord, and we can also come boldly because of your grace right. on the cross that allows us to have access. Without that shed blood, we couldn't even enter into this. Yes. Throne of grace, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. When you look down on us, you don't see the sin in us. You see the shed blood of Jesus Christ, and, and we're up, and we were saved by we're saved by grace. Lord, your grace. Thank you, Jesus. It's sufficient. And Lord, Hallelujah. Your grace to sustain us in, in this difficult uh, time that we're in today, Lord. Lord, I just want to pray that you just move in our hearts. Yes, Father. Lord, that we would draw near to you. Your promise is when we draw near to you, that you will draw near to us. So, Lord, we take this time to say mm. we want to enter in and we want to have communion with you. We want to, yes. we want to, we want to seek your face. We want, to, we want your presence here. Tonight. Hallelujah. We want to know without a shadow of a doubt that we are in the presence of you, the almighty God, Lord. And we just praise you and give you all... Mm-hmm. Holy name, Lord. And tonight, dear Lord, I pray for anyone here that does not know you as Lord and Savior, that tonight would be the night right. of salvation. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, the angels in heaven and mm-hmm. Lord, we just pray that, that if that one person here today, that one soul that is seeking, maybe you're ready to give up and, and you, you just you need a Savior. We all need a Savior. We right. need Jesus. So, Lord, just pray that you just. Move in that heart, Lord. Convict that heart, Lord. Your Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin. Lord, that's what your Holy Spirit does, Lord. And Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit moves in this place tonight, Lord. And we just give you all praise. We will thank you, Jesus. You. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank, thank you. Thank you for all that you do, all that you did, all that yes, you're doing, all that you're going to do, Lord. Because you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Lord. And forever. We love you. And we give you all praise. And all God's people Ooh. say, Amen. Amen. And we're also taking a selection up for uh, just we get to do this for uh, it will kind of cost something, but we, we let everybody come in again. And if you can give in any way, it's very well appreciated. So thank you very much. I'd like to say um, we're going to finish this set off with this one last song, then we're going to take like about a five minute break. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's all. <laughs> Well, us. You can take as long as you want. <laughs> Through it all. This song is called Through It All, and Barry's going to sing it. One of my favorite uh, gospel songs by Andre Crouch. And if you're here tonight, listen to these words. Uh, these words will minister to you. Especially this verse that says, I thank God for the mountains. I thank Him for the valleys. Yeah. I thank Him for the storms that He's brought me through. Mm. For if I never had a problem... I'd never know that he could solve them. Thank you. I would never know what faith in God can do. So we're going to finish off with this song. And all those stuff that's on that table back there that's for sale. And some of it's just a donation, whatever you want to donate to. It goes to uh, uh, Barry's medical bills. Just want to say that. Hallelujah. I love what the pastor said. You know, when we go to the throne of grace... See, the priest could only go into the holiest of holies once a year to to offer sacrifice for the sins of Israel. 
We under, under this dispensation of grace, we have that opportunity anytime we want to get in God's presence. We can get into the holiest of holies because we have the holiest of holies within us. And many times we say, Lord, why? I went through so much. I personally have been through so much. Excuse me, I get a little choked up. But you know, I had this operation at uh, university. My insurance paid over a million dollars. Being a senior, you know, we, we retire, we, you know, this, 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 and that, but, you know, there, there, there's a lot that they don't pay for. And, you know, stuck with a lot of those bills and things, I had to put them on credit cards. But, you know, because they were getting ready, I was getting ready to be sued. You know, it, it's sad when the world, when, you, when you're hurting and, and so bad, you've gone through so much that the world's not compassionate. In Amish culture, I have, I'm descended from uh, the Dunkards, Pennsylvania, Germany. And the reason they were called Dunkards was because they baptized you forward, forward, not backwards, forward into the water and dip you three times. They want to make sure that you're baptized. Praise God. But you know, in the Amish culture, when someone is sick, when something happens, or they lose, uh, uh, a mother would lose her husband, the whole neighborhood would come to the rescue and take care of them and support them until they're able to, to get on their feet again. We don't have that anymore. It used to be we could leave our doors unlocked. We could leave the keys in the car. We could leave the windows and the doors open. You can't do that today. Compassion has went out of America. But this song means so much to me. I feel like Andre wrote this, another one just for me, but he wrote for all the people that are like me, that are going through something. I've had many tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow There have been times I didn't know right from wrong But in every situation God gave me blessed consolation That my trials only come To make me strong I thank God for the mountains. Yes, I do. 
I thank him for the valleys where God goes through them. Thank you for the storms <laughs> that he brought me through. For if I never had a problem, you know, I would never know that my God, he could solve them. I never know what faith in God could do. To trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God. Hey, through it all, hey, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His word. I've learned to depend upon His. Break time now, huh? Expected 
By doing what is right To the passionate young preacher Who's not afraid to do The things that his heart tells him At the risk of becoming a fool You are not
back up here and get started again before everybody leaves because I know how it is with Christians they're in bed usually by 9 30 am I right about that <laughs> we want you to hang in for a little bit we got a few songs to do this song right here that I'm going to get started off with uh, it's called hello Noah and we got Bill over there I got to do his song uh, several of these songs are on the CD back there. There's a CD back there, and uh, you pretty much can just take that, take any of those CDs you want. They're uh, like just for a donation of whatever you got. Uh, everything goes to Barry here for his medical bills. And um, this song, well, Hello No is not on there, but the song that I'm going to do after that that Bill requests me to do a lot is called Old Wayne Taylor, and I have to tell you a little bit about that song before I do it. All original songs, all based on true stories. This song here,
You know, uh, we're living in times. Uh, Barry talked a little bit about it. Uh, which, you know, it's real obvious. We don't really know when uh, Jesus is coming again, but there are signs. There are signs that he gave you, you know. One of the signs I always think about is uh, when it says, many will be going to and fro upon the face of the earth, and knowledge shall increase. And when you're up in an airplane, and you're flying up there in the clouds, and you're looking down, all you see is people going to and fro up on the face of the earth, back and forth across the face of the earth. But a really obvious sign is the violence, the violence that we see today. Especially abortion. Oh my goodness. Abortion, that's awful. I can't, I just, uh, I can't stand the thought of the fact that you would take a little baby's life when it's almost born and not even treat it like it's alive. ago when man began to multiply upon the face of the earth, God looked down upon man and saw that every imagination of man's heart was only evil. Continuously. And it grieved the Lord God that he made man. He only found one man back in the days of worship. His name was Noah. So God instructed Noah to build an ark and make it big and strong, Noah, because he said it's going to rain. Noah got his family together and they began to build that ark out in the middle of nowhere. People came around and they laughed at him. Just like today, they're laughing. You know, Jesus, he likened the last days to the days of Noah. Spread his evil through the land. And is it any wonder that God was mad like thunder? Sorry that he made himself a man. Looks like those days of Noah. Looks like those days of Noah. Somebody's left to die This world is full of lying It ain't right Looks like those days of Noah Looks like those days of Noah Looks like those days of Noah All of those are laughing, living with their bellies full of sin.